Walk into your average grocery store and you'll be confronted with a dazzling array of hot sauce bottles filled with liquids in red, green, yellow, and orange. Different brands come with different types of peppers, ingredients, spice levels, and suggested food pairings, and not all created equal. 10. Hoi Fong Sriracha Developed by Hoi Fong Foods in Los Angeles, Sriracha has a reputation that precedes itself. Entire cookbooks have been dedicated to this trendy concoction, with t-shirts, hats, and miniature keychain bottles cementing it as nothing less than a cultural force. But here's the thing, as a hot sauce, sriracha is a little overrated. For one, it's only slightly spicier than marinara sauce and full of as much sugar as your typical teaspoon of ketchup. Don't get us wrong, it makes a fine condiment, but for heat content specifically, we can do so much better. 9. Tabasco this iconic red pepper sauce needs little introduction. First invented in 1868, this spicy recipe remains as popular as ever after 150 years. It was created by the McElhaney family on Avery Island, Louisiana, where the sauce is still produced to this day. It's also still made from the original family recipe of Tabasco peppers, vinegar, and salt all aged in oak barrels for up to three years. It's fine to have a standard, but there have been incredible advances in hot sauce technology since the creation of this hot sauce. In today's market, Tabasco is basically all heat and no flavor. It's impressive what the company's built, for sure, but other sauces have built on it. 8. Louisiana Brand Hot Sauce this sauce declares its Louisiana origins right in the name. Sporting a slogan of not too hot, not too mild, this sauce lives up to its reputation, with its basic version being fairly tame for pepperheads. But the brand does offer some bolder options, with varieties that include red chili, habanero, and hotter than hot. This brand also has a thing for flavor infusions, with sauces that specifically offer notes of chipotle, roasted garlic, jalapeno, and even honey. It's a label that aims to please everybody, and you have to give it credit for that. 7. El Yucateco Made from the habanero pepper rather than cayenne, El Yucateco brand of salsas y condimentos is spicier than average, with the cut bilic extra hot variety predictably being the spiciest. People with a dulled down sense of taste may appreciate the blazing heat, but we found that the fire overwhelmed the flavor. It's the kind of lingering heat that makes you want to abandon your tacos for a bowl of ice cream. So unless you like it really hot, maybe stick to one of the less extreme varieties. 6. Tapatio Contrary to what you may have believed from the sombrero sporting label, Tapatio is not a product of Mexico. The brand was created in Maywood, California in 1971 and has since become popular worldwide. Made of red peppers, salt, spices, and garlic, the only mark it has against it is a somewhat watery consistency. But there's a reason you can find this sauce in taco shops all over the place. It's just a solid, versatile offering and pretty hard to dislike. 5. Cholula a common sight at stores and restaurants, Cholula hot sauce is instantly identifiable by its signature wooden bottle cap. In terms of heat level, the original recipe Cholula is relatively mild, but its blend of vinegar, spices, and piquin and arbol peppers delivers a flavorful tang, faintly reminiscent of garlic. In addition to the original Cholula, the brand has released a number of new flavors over the years, including chipotle, chili garlic, chili lime, green pepper, and sweet habanero. There's an argument to be made for all of them, but as usual, the habanero is the spiciest one. 4. Crystal Hot Sauce The best-selling hot sauce in Louisiana, Crystal is a beloved brand in the Big Easy and was once the official hot sauce of the New Orleans Saints. Louisianans aren't the only ones who like it. Since its invention in 1923, it's come to be sold in countries around the world. The sauce excels at keeping things simple, containing only aged cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, and salt. It delivers a deep pepper flavor with a decent but not daunting amount of heat. 3. Yellowbird Habanero Hot Sauce Hailing from Austin, Texas, Yellowbird Foods boasts a whole line of hot sauces made from farm-fresh fruits and vegetables. The current Yellowbird hot sauce lineup includes a habanero, serrano, jalapeno, blue agave sriracha, and ghost pepper sauce. The original habanero version is the spiciest, but it boasts a creative combination of flavors. Crafted from habanero peppers, carrots, onions, organic cane sugar, and tangerine and lime concentrates, the bright orange sauce is at once spicy, sweet, and citrusy. As a newer brand, Yellowbird hot sauces may not be as easy to come by as other brands, but if you see it, we think it's worth it. 2. Frank's Red Hot Sauce there's a reason why this sauce is known for getting put on everything. The Louisiana-born sauce is versatile enough to top cuisines of all kinds. Tacos? Check. Bloody Marys? Check. 
questionable leftovers? Well, it can't hurt. But perhaps the best food item to pair with Frank's is chicken wings. In 1964, Frank's Red Hot Sauce was the secret ingredient for the first ever batch of buffalo wings, thereby helping to launch an entirely new genre of restaurants. Like other brands, a variety of flavors are offered. And they all go good with chicken. 1. Valentina Salsa Picante Towering glass jugs of Valentina have been gracing the tables of dusty taquerias across Mexico for more than 50 years. This ultra-cheap tangy sauce hails from the city of Guadalajara in Jalisco and is one of Mexico's most popular. The beauty of Valentina is in its simplicity. Thicker than Tabasco but thinner than Sriracha, it packs a decent amount of heat without overpowering the distinctive citrus flavor. If you have a more timid palate, just make sure you get the original recipe as opposed to the Black Label Extra Hot. They aren't kidding around with that one. While Valentina may be our personal favorite, there's not a sauce on this list that's not worth trying. Your taste may vary, but with all this variety, one thing is certain. If you don't have some kind of spice in your diet, you're just ripping yourself off. You want my advice? Don't play yourself.